Let's go behind the scenes of Wisconsin's largest airport. This is Milwaukee Mitchell International Airports Revealed. In this video, you'll see some of this airport's hidden secrets, explore its five runways, and even check out some of the heavy machinery they use to keep the airport running, even in the most extreme winter weather. Hello, Jet Setters. I'm Jeb Brooks from Greenergrass.com. Every airport has a story to tell, and I've come to one that embraces a sense of history and a sense of humor. This is Milwaukee, Airports Revealed. That sense of history begins the moment you enter the main terminal. Here, you'll find a celebration of the airport's namesake, General Billy Mitchell, in the form of a museum highlighting the unique heritage of the airport. This free museum is open 24 hours a day and celebrates some of the most exciting events in the airport's history. Here to show us around and tell us a little bit more is Harold Mester, Head of Public Affairs and Marketing for the airport. 2009, the Airbus A380 landed here at Milwaukee Mitchell Airport because it came straight from Toulouse, France, and it had to go through customs on its way up to EAA Air Venture. So we were the most logical spot for the crew to go through customs, but that meant that they landed here, they gave the airport this beautiful model, we actually put a CRJ200 model next to it in the same scale so that people can see the just how, how much larger it is. And if you want to take a piece of history home, you can, in the form of a used book. Milwaukee is home to the world's only used bookstore in an airport. Here it is right here, Renaissance Books. You don't find a museum or a used bookstore in every airport. So why has this one embraced such a quirky attitude? Milwaukee overall is a unique place and, and the airport kind of reflects that unique creativity that you find in the neighborhoods of Milwaukee and in fact some of our shops and restaurants are named after different neighborhoods in Milwaukee and we're famous for a lot of things including you know Miller Beer, Harley Davidson motorcycles and our recombobulation area. We've been here since like 1926 and uh, we're, we're serving all of southeastern Wisconsin's uh, commercial aviation needs. Milwaukee has service from Air Canada, Alaska, American, Delta, Frontier, JetBlue, Southwest, Spirit, Sun Country, United, and Amtrak. Because the airport has its own Amtrak station, Amtrak departures and arrivals are listed on the uh, on the departures board as well. In addition to the 10 airlines, we have uh, air cargo carriers this year, signature flight support, nav flight, the 128 their refueling wing is here. Um, we have a new FBO, we have a, a service called Jet In and Jet Out that's coming in. Text Run, Cessna Citation is here, they do a lot of overnight maintenance. Air Wisconsin has an, a maintenance facility here, as does Sky Western. There's also a real sense of place here at Milwaukee. The airport recently completed a renovation of their terminal. From the minute you get off of your plane, you know exactly where you are. I had the chance to chat with Yohona Pritchard, who helped lead the renovation efforts here. Milwaukee is a beautiful place. It has so much history, it has so much art, it has so much beauty and feel to it that we wanted everybody to, whether you're driving up to Green Bay or wherever you're going to, to get the sense that you're in Wisconsin, you're in Milwaukee. Uh, the people designing the stores, you see the Cream City brick over here for Summerfest? It was laid down brick by brick based on what they saw out there in the streets of Milwaukee. The thing about working in an airport environment is that there's so many different aspects and so many different airports and so many different states. You can literally work anywhere. And as big as the country is and the airport uh, environment is, it's also a small community. And you can go anywhere from working retail to working with TSA to working at the offices just based on what you're learning at one job and the networking and the relationships that you make and that you create. So literally you, you can write, it's like it's its own little world. You can write whatever future that you want for yourself with some hard work, with showing up and, and showing what you can do here. It's uh, just mind blowing just how much goes into making an airport run. It's pretty cool. It's crazy. And I think that if, if half the traveling public understood just how hard people like you and your colleagues work, I think we might have a different view of, of what this experience is. So thank you for all you do. Thank you very much. And all that hard work certainly pays off, at least according to the passengers who travel through Milwaukee. This airport received uh, our first ever ASQ award, which is airport service quality. And based on surveys at this airport, we ranked in the top tier, and so we were named one of the best airports by size and region in North America. With amenities like a playground and thoughtful restaurants, it's easy to see why they won. This is a local Italian restaurant, and I think one of the greatest things airports can do is highlight local cuisine, because if you're like me, sometimes you're just traveling in and out for work and you don't get enough time to enjoy a city. 
But if you can grab a quick meal at an airport, it gives you a chance to taste the local flavors. And just as every airport is unique, there are also elements that exist at all of them, with commercial service anyway. The Transportation Security Administration screens passengers and bags at more than 450 U.S. airports. If you've flown since about 2001, you're no doubt familiar with how they screen passengers. But here, we were invited by TSA to see how the bag screening process works. Frank Papia from the TSA explained a lot more happens between the ticket counter and baggage claim than most of us ever get to see. The passenger will go up to ticketing if they have checked bags. Then an uh, agent will put the baggage on uh, the conveyor belt, whatever airline they're from, and then it will go on here. Now, of course, a uh, uh, ticket, the airline ticket, will have a scanner code on. What that does is it routes the bag to the right tug so that it goes to the right plane. These are loaded into the tug once they get to the very end and then are drove out to uh, the airplane and are loaded. So here are the x-ray machines, so every bag is x-rayed. I just learned each one of those machines, a million dollars a piece. What if one of those million dollar machines identifies a bag that needs some additional screening? Well, that bag is rooted into this room for further investigation. Here, bags are searched by hand. If that happens to your suitcase, you'll find a notice of inspection inside like this. What's my favorite part of this process? Well, it has to be this vacuum that helps TSA officers lift and move bags. How cool is that? So far today, TSA has scanned almost 3,600 bags. Uh, they've done extra screening on about 132 of them. So you can see, this is a pretty massive operation. And back upstairs, once you're through security, you have a unique place here to get reacclimated, or should I say, recombobulated. You can tell this is an airport with a sense of humor because on the other side of TSA security, there's a recombobulation area. My favorite part of the Milwaukee airport? Uh, probably the Aviation Careers Education, or ACE program. The ACE program employs 35 Milwaukee Public Schools high school students. Their wages are actually paid by the state of Wisconsin Department of Transportation Bureau of Aeronautics, but they're placed with employers here. So airlines, service providers, concessionaires, they all take these interns under their wing and give them some outstanding uh, work experiences during the summertime. This is a great place to learn about careers in aviation. And we have a, a wide variety of employers who are involved in the program, and they really get a lot of hands-on experience at the airport. You may not think about it on a beautiful summer day like this, but an airport like Milwaukee can face paralyzing winter weather. And behind these doors are the tools their operations team use to combat that. Milwaukee has its fair share of snow, and in order to get rid of that snow as quickly as possible, they've got these trucks. They combine a broom with a plow on the front. Now, the plows are so big, they don't fit into this building. They have to be stored elsewhere. It's absolutely incredible that because of these machines, the professionals who operate them and a really solid plan, no matter the snow, they can get rid of it. During a snow event, uh, the airport focuses on single runway operations. They just focus on keeping the main runway clear of snow. And when they're doing that, there can be as many is 30 vehicles running down the runway to make sure that it's clear. And as impressive as all of this is, there's still more. This is just the runway equipment, but we have other equipment for taxiways, ramps, gate areas, you know, and that's just the snow. We have equipment for cutting grass, for uh, responding to emergencies, for maintaining the airfield, everything. Speaking of emergencies, the airport also maintains a 24-7, 365 firefighting force. Milwaukee's aircraft rescue and firefighting team operates out of this state-of-the-art facility they use to stay in ship shape to keep us safe in the event they're needed. One of the things that has amazed me the most about uh, getting behind the scenes here at the Milwaukee airport is just the number of vehicles that are required to run this place. There's so many. Uh, it just speaks to how many different professionals keep this place running so that you can fly on time. We can so easily take for granted the concept that our, our we get to the airport, we walk through TSA, we uh, walk down a jet bridge and get on our plane and go. But really, when it comes to an airport, there's so much more to it. And I hope uh, in, this vi in this video you're able to see a little bit of that complexity here at Milwaukee Airport. Thank you so much for having me. Sure, you're welcome. It's been a pleasure. Between now and the next time, see you at the airport.